Hi guys, Coach Lee with the Northeast Oklahoma Football Club, and I wanted to put together a video that would be a very simple explanation of the offside rule in the game of soccer. Uh, there are several technical elements of the offside rule that might apply for older players. This is going to be an explanation for U8, U10, U12 players and parents who maybe aren't feeling like they have a real good understanding of what the offside rule is. So let me just put it in really simple terms. There, there are two things we need to think about. The offside position and the offside infraction. Just because someone is in an offside position doesn't mean that a penalty is going to be called. The flag may not go up and, and the other team be given the ball. So let's explain kind of the difference between those two. The first thing we want to establish is that offside can only be called on the attacking end of the field. So let's look at the field here. Let's say here's our goalie and here are a couple of defenders for the red team and they're going this way to my left. Okay. Offside on the attacking team can only be called on this end of the field. If there's an attacking player on their own field, on their own side of the field, the side that they're defending, offside cannot be called no matter, no matter how in the offside position that person is, as long as they're on their end of the field, the, field, the end that they're defending, offside cannot be called. So offside, uh, the rule is only enforced on the attacking side of the field. And I want to make this as simple as I can. There has to be a defender or the ball between you and the goal at all times, or you are in an offside position. Let, let me explain that. Right here as we look at this field, if these are the defenders going this way, the last defender, not counting the goalie, the last defender is here. So if we were to draw an imaginary line right there, everything in this space would be the offside position for, let's say, a blue team player. Let's say there was a blue team player right here, okay? they are currently in the offside position because there is not a defender or the ball between them and the goal that they are attacking. Um, now if the ball was played and it happened to be right here, would they be in the offside position? No, they would not because the ball is between them and the other goal. If we just drew imaginary lines, before, when the ball wasn't there, the imaginary line was here at the last defender. If the ball's here, the imaginary line would be here, and everything on that side, the right side of that, would be an offside position. Now, you can be in that position and nothing be called, because the ball may be down here being banged around between your own defense. It only is called when you become involved in the play. So if this offensive player is in that offside position and his teammate passes him the ball, the flag is going to go up and offside is going to be called. The other team will get the ball right where he was offside and they will have the chance to play a direct kick down the field. That's basically it. There are some other rules about when the ball is played and if it bounces off of a defender, some things like that. But the, the, the gist of the rule is that you cannot be uh, the, the person, there has to be either the ball or a defender between you and the goal that you're attacking or else you are in an offside position. If you're curious about the, the intricacies of the rule and when it is called and that kind of thing, especially for older players, I suggest a couple of other uh, YouTube links here below uh, the video and you'll get a full explanation uh, to the offside rule. But this is going to be helpful for those of you who are younger players or parents of younger players and you're just trying to figure out what this offside rule is all about. Thanks.